Welcome, welcome back everyone to Reality and Balance and Happy New Moon in Sagittarius, everyone. So this is the final new moon for 2020. Whoop, whoop. This will amplify our desires with the power of the total solar eclipse above us. So not only is it a new moon in Sagittarius, but we have a total solar eclipse as well. All right, so if this is your first time over here, please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Reality and Balance. eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius will engage us in the areas where we feel the most challenged or where we've done the most work in life this far. All right, you guys. So since the sun is operating in Sagittarius and we have the moon operating in Sagittarius, this gives our grand finale, you guys. So it will further amplify where we need to be more challenged, all right, or where we've done the work, all right? So we will we'll be able to detect that or you probably have already done so prior to this new moon. All right, so this will be a three card voodoo tarot reading. All right, that will coincide with the past, present, and future energy frequencies. And we are going to use the Moonology Oracle deck cards that will give us the tools, the resources to move on forward. This will be our set foundation, the voodoo tarot, and the Moonology will use as like access tools okay that we can use so before we get on to this reading let me just tell you a little bit more about the three card reading so the past will represent exploring life okay and then we'll have the present which will represent expanding life and then we'll pull a card which will represent future in the greater perspective so when i did my last reading with the new moon we have three attributes that cater to that moon as well and since we're dealing with Sagittarius I have three characteristics that are going to coincide with the past present and future and you'll see what I mean as we go along it'll be really simple all these characteristics really reflect Sagittarius already the greater aspects of Sagittarius okay if you haven't seen my video on the essential qualities of Sagittarius tail spread go ahead and check that out so let's get into this three card spread, why don't we? And then we can go ahead and get into these particular aspects that I was referring to. So first let's give these cards a little shuffle and we'll do our layout here. It's technically a six card spread, okay? But like I said, the past, present, and future will be our set foundation for this final finale, new moon in Sagittarius of 2020, you guys. <laughs> it's time to get pumped, get pumped, get pumped. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and... Go ahead and do the layout here. This will represent the general collective past, present, future. And then like I said, we'll break it down with the Moonology cards as well. That will give us the extra resources and tools that one must use along the way okay so this will represent the past present future let's give them a little shuffle Okay, 
okay, just right underneath here, the tools that we'll use for the past, the tools that we're currently using now, the tools we need in the future. Ha ha ha. Mm, okay, let's just set these over yonder and let's get into these attributes that I was referring to earlier. So this is the finale of the new moon in Sagittarius for the general collective in the past. What is the energy frequency that is representing exploring life, exploring life? For this new moon general collective reading, what energy frequencies represent the past in exploring life? Okay, we have Rada, Nanan, Bukulau. So we have two relationship partnerships working together in nature. So we have the divine energy and the power of three was our exploring life in the past okay for this general collective reading we have two men working together two women working together we have man and woman working together but the all greater aspects of love and life comes together with the divine third counterpart in mother earth that brings all together so this represented exploring life in the past Nanambukulau. You guys can check out my website for further detail reading reality imbalance, by the way. So moving on, on into the current present energies right now, representing expanding life for the general collective. What is the energy frequency representing expanding life for this new moon in Sagittarius presently right now? Ooh, man, we be coming so close together in these vessels. So we have divine wisdom. We're still working with feminine energy here. We're in three vessel, which deals with sex. Okay, in death. Um, Meman Bridget represents divine judgment, wise judgment. Okay. So in reflection to expanding life here, what is expanding for us all collectively is divine judgment and wisdom here. Okay. And then representing the future with the attribute in greater perspective for the general collective in this new moon in Sagittarius. All right. In the greater aspect attributes that we can look forward to in the future, what is our energy frequency? Woo. Okay, so standing against all odds, all right, is the greater perspective, you guys. So I really wasn't expecting for Oguna Papa, but yes, sure enough, he, he sure did. So in the future journal collective, okay, the energy is... We're looking at technology and we're looking at war. But we are standing ground. We're standing solid in these forces in opposition, you guys. And as a matter of fact, it look like some will be working together to keep balance so that war is not going to disrupt all humankind so not only are we standing ground but there will be a time where there will be some form of opposition but in this opposition there will be balance in this opposition because Ogun here he's representing the police enforcement law enforcement but he is represented in the way here where it is for the protection and the solidity of whatever engagement is going on right now. So say if they're out patrolling downtown areas or if the police are out patrolling like an event of some kind, they are standing in their truth here. They're standing solid. They're doing their job. They're doing their mission. Okay. They're doing what they're supposed to do. And so are you. 
okay so that is what the attribute of greater perspective is is working with ogun and war technology standing solid standing on your ground here guys okay wise judgment relationship past working with mother earth the divine power of three energy here in the past all right so moving on for the tools we're just going to go and pull right underneath the past here so what is the tool that we can pull and use from the moonology that will help us get us closer to seeing exploring life so what will help us to explore life more greater working with mother earth together in a relationship with another individual a time to give rather than to take so in exploring life at this time you guys it's telling us all that it is time to give rather than to take and as you can see here they're they're giving for the past. They're, they're already giving, okay? Giving and they're receiving from Mother Earth as well. So moving on to wisdom, judgment, okay? She represents like the judge of the courts here. All right, Mama and Bridget. In expanding life, what tool can we use going forward in this grand finale? In the new moon in Sagittarius. In expanding life, what tool can we use working with Mam and Bridget? And wise, wise, divine judgment. Adjustments are required. Adjustments are required. I feel like with this card and the other cards, like the justice team or the justice league for some reason popped in my head dealing with justice dealing with courts dealing with law enforcement dealing with war you know like the words the justice league came up for some reason <laughs> okay so with um expanding life it is basically telling us that adjustments are required okay so the future tool that we can use for a greater perspective here in this finale of the new moon of 2020 in Sagittarius working with Ogun and standing solid. What tool can we use going on in the future? You're very close to achieving your goal. Oh, very good. So a uh, staying solid is what this card is really reflecting on standing in our truth in a way like i was explaining earlier will get us to achieving our goals here coming up you guys so the ascension is here it is always here okay there's always people waking up every day in new ways every second there are always barriers being broken down you guys i just want to send you guys love and wishes and care okay for this next shift coming up in this new year 2021 it is kind of strange and interesting because who knows what year we're really in but either way i wish you all the best in every year and in all of your days be well heal i'll see you guys on the next reading and balance and peace peace